Hey YouTube, it's Robert Holland. In today's video, we're gonna talk about gelling the Godox 8200 or 8200 Pro. My favorite option for the H200R would be the Rogue Round Kit. My favorite option for the bare bulb head would be flashgels.com. And my favorite option if you're a Fresnel head power user would be Magmod Mag Gels, although I wouldn't discredit anybody for choosing simple Rogue Gels as well. Gels color gels, color correction gels. They are essential to my photography. I use them to correct the color of my flash in an ambient environment. I use them to counter the ambient color in an environment. And I use color effect gels to put little splashes of color everywhere. They are so necessary for what I do. And by far the light that I use the most is the Godox 8200 or Flashpoint Evolve 200. And with the 8200 comes the option to use three different heads. The newest round head, AKA H200R, the bare bulb head or the Fresnel head. No, it's not Fresnel, it's Fresnel. And with each of these different head shapes, you have a different selection of gels that are available to you. So I wanted to break down all the gel options for these out there and talk about what I am using and why I like it best and just give you guys the usability information so you can make your own decision. Let's talk about the traditional Fresnel head first. The most standard solution is any type of gel designed for a speed light head. These come in so many versions. I really like the Rogue Lighting Kit ones. The reason that I like Rogue Lighting filters is because A, I think that the colors are really accurate, but B, they print them right on here. Uh, they come in a package that's really well optimized. And then that package has ugh, a guide and that guide shows you the light loss. It shows you the color or the color change that it, happens with a color correction gel. So I just think it's a really good kit. They're relatively affordable and don't buy cheap imitations of gels because they completely defeat the purpose of gels when they don't even have the correct color adjustment. So I really like buying from a known brand, Rogue, Great, Lee, Roscoe. Those are the brands that you wanna be buying your gels from. Now, normally these Rogue kits come with a much thicker band that you can put around here and that's gonna secure it down, but I seem to have lost all of mine. So I just use these uh, silicone cooking bands, which I bought like a 200 pack of and never have to worry about running out again. But that's it, that's, that's the design. Same thing that you would do with the speed light. Some people might use like a Velcro strap around here. What I did is I actually bought three because I commonly use three flashes, especially for event work. And then I just stuffed them all in one case. So in this case, I've got three of every single color that they have in their kit. So that includes the correction gels and the effect gels. Really nice and handy to keep it here. And even though I'm not really using the speed light head and I don't really use my other speed lights very often, I almost always use off camera flash. Uh, I still keep these in my bag because it takes virtually zero space and I've got some gels. And the cool thing about these rogues is that in a pinch, they actually do completely cover the uh, H200R. So <laughs> if we needed to, it's not exactly pretty, but check that out. Rogues completely cover it just fine. So really you can get away with using these with the round head and the Fresnel head in case you're going back and forth. Now a step up on the Fresnel head is keeping your, out. It's keeping your 8200 with this mag grip on here and using MagMods gel kits. Now, these are significantly more expensive. I think these uh, gel holders are like 25 bucks and if you wanna use multiple of them, I think we've got like six of them. You're talking 150 bucks for gel holders. So it gets really expensive. Their gels aren't exactly cheap either, but it is a really fast solution. It's really nice when you're working an event. So if you're doing something fast paced like wedding photography or something like that, just being able to slap these on really quick, having a stack of them in your case of the ones that you most commonly use can really help throughout a wedding day, no fumbling with little straps or anything. And then you can just stack their other modifiers like the grid and yeah, you've got a really, really quick set. Now I have the, uh, the entire kit of colors. The first time I wanted to purchase more color correction gels, I was looking at buying like three kits of the color correction series because I wanted like three half CTOs, three full CTOs, etc. And then I actually found out they had an advanced kit that has multiple of each color correction. So that's really helpful. I'll leave that linked in the description below. Saves you a little bit of money rather than buying full kits just to get access to these colors while giving you more of colors you might not need. That advanced color correction kit is really nice if you're already investing a lot of money in the MagMod products. 
Now, I used to use the MagMod products all the time because I was using two V860 version twos, as well as the 8200s. I would often leave the Fresnel heads on and at events, gelling multiple lights, gelling my V862s to match, the MagMod system just worked great. However, ever since I started using either the V350 or the Godox V1, as my on-camera master and using the round heads on here, there's just not a significant pull for me to continue using the MagMod products because, well, they, they don't fit the H200R and the H200R has its own native solutions. To this day, the bare ball remains the biggest pain to gel and really the only solution is flashgels.com, which are actually now sold through Adorama as well. So they are pretty accessible nowadays. Now I will admit, this is not the most elegant solution, but it is the most cohesive and most accurate solution for gelling a bear bulb, which is just not an easy thing to do. So what I do is just kind of double wrap that on my finger and then slide it down and Honestly, at this point, rather than fussing it, like you could sit there and tuck it in, but sometimes I'll leave it out just like that. Now, the reason that I endorse these so much is because of their accuracy. You have a single layer of gel around the entire bulb while still keeping the heat open in the front, but that's not too significant on the color. The result is that you have really even color adjustment to your bulb. So even when it's inside of a softbox or something like that, you don't really affect your image quality at all. Now, once you start folding a light, like if you just take a sheet of gel and start folding that over the bulb and taping that, that's when you get into these patches of light loss and so then your light isn't bouncing around that equal. I don't know how much that you actually would see it in the visual result, but I don't, for a purist like me, I like the fact that this is completely even over the bulb, even though it's not fast. Still the best solution out there for the bare bulb. So yeah, we still got all the color correction and color effect gels out there. Also, these are extremely accurate. A very high quality gel company is used for making these, so they work great. Other than that, your only additional solution is cutting your own gels to put around the bulb. That's pretty much it for the bare bulb. On to the latest and, in my opinion, greatest. Don't get me wrong, there are applications where I still think the bare bulb is required. If I'm going for absolute best image quality, then I want the bare bulb inside of a softbox. But for most general applications for when clients aren't going to be nitpicking over the shadows or anything like that, I do think that the round head is a great option. And that primarily breaks down to speed because if you don't know, the H200R has a full suite of magnetic modifiers. If you want more information on this, you can check out this video right up here. Now with the round head, you've got this gel holder and this is designed to hold the gels that are included in the AKR1 kit. So this is the brand Godox's standard solution to the gels. Um, I just got more of these because I ordered more gel holders. I think I threw out all my other ones. And the reason that I threw them out is because these are not fast, nor are they accurate. So they have zero redeeming qualities. The way these are designed is to be put into the gel holder and then rotated to lock, but I didn't line it up properly. Yeah, I don't know. I, these, I just, I just don't like them. I don't like this kit. They're not fast, they're not sturdy in there. They're, and you only get a few different colors. Now everybody was begging like, hey, Godox, fix your gels. We need better gels for this system. We need more gels for this system. We need more accurate gels for this system. And to their credit, they delivered, sort of. So they partnered with this German manufacturer called QMAX to actually create their gels for them, which is great because now we have accurate gels. That's one thing I will give pluses on. These are accurate gels. They do not deliver some ugly color tint and they come in both a color effect and a color correction version and they have good options. Like the color correction options has half, full, quarter, and eighth of CTO, CTB, plus green, and minus green. So you got everything that you need in one little kit for a decent price. But the way these are designed to work is a lot of people get these and have no idea what they're for. These are the little clear 
gels that they're not actually gels they're just clear plastic but the way it's supposed to work is you put one plastic in then you put the gel in then you put this other one in and boom now you've got a gel holder but i have a problem with this design in that it's not fast at all i mean you have two solutions here either a you have a big old stack of these that you can quickly rotate out or b you're constantly fiddling with this plastic take that out and then you take your gel out and then you put another gel in and then you put the plastic back in that that's not quick and say i drop and lose this one little plastic piece in a random environment now all of a sudden i can't even use my my gel holders and additionally my thought process was oh i'll just slap these on top of the h200r and then i'll put i'll put this over but here's the problem these aren't large enough to actually be held in by the gel holder. You can kind of get it under a lip on one side, but I mean, eventually it just falls right out. And lastly, it doesn't even tell me what they are. I don't know if this is half or quarter CTO. And even when you open up the package and you have them with these white sheets in between, there's no details about it. So now, I'm left to either keep them in perfect order. Have you ever been in some dark, really warm candlelit environment like trying to find a gel? It's, it's an absolute nightmare. So the idea of not having any type of print on here to let us know, mm -mm, nope, does not do it for me. So despite the fact that they partnered with a new brand and greatly improved the quality of their gels, this kit just still isn't well thought out to me and I really think it's a big missed opportunity. So if these that are included with the AKR1 kit and these optional packages that you can buy separately aren't good solutions, then what are we left with? Two options. First, we have these from flashgels.com, the same people that make these cross ones for the bare bulb. They also make them for like the 8400 Pro, 8600 Pro, but they've got a pretty elegant solution. It's printed on there what strength of gel there is, and then you just hold it over put the gel holder atop of it, and you're good to go. It's a great solution. Again, they're accurate, but I will admit, flash gels are quite pricey because it's a small niche operation. I sympathize for their pricing because I love the fact that they make this solution for people, but, you know, competition, people out there are going to buy whatever is the best option for them, and now we'll move on to what I think is the best option. So we're finishing back where we started with Rogue Flash Gels. Now this Rogue Kit does everything I want it to. A, comes in a nice case. B, it has a guide for all their flashes. C, that information is printed directly on the gel itself. So when you're looking in a dark venue, you can actually tell what the heck you're grabbing. And finally, they fit behind the gel holder rather than in the gel holder and they're not gonna fall out. They're actually held on in place. They're a little bit larger than this, which is funny because these aren't even designed for this kit. They're designed for some proprietary Rogue modifier, but I digress, it ends up being the best solution for this H200R. It's also significantly cheaper than the ones from flashgels.com because it comes with uh, all your color correction options and color effect gels all in one kit. So again, I bought three of them and then stuffed them all into one little case. In conclusion, in conclusion, my favorite option for the H200R would be the Rogue Round Kit. My favorite option for the bare bulb head would be flashgels.com. And my favorite option if you're a Fresnel head power user would be Magmod Mag Gels, although I wouldn't discredit anybody for choosing simple Rogue Gels as well. I realize this was an extremely deep dive into gels, but for me, this is the type of video that I would want when trying to pick out a gel solution is just having somebody break down all the usability aspects of these different gels as well as the quality of them. So I hope it helped you out. Just so you guys know, there is a pretty good sale going on right now on the 8200 Pro not this, this is actually the original 8200, but the Godox 8200 Pro, AKA Evolve 200 Pro, has a group by deal going on through Adorama right now. You can find more information on it right up in this video right here, but a good deal 
with the H200R as well as the AKR1 modifier. So really like that deal. This is the first time that we've seen a deal on the Evolve 200 Pro and paired with some accessories, you can get up to 30% off. So if you're interested, check out that video. Other than that, leave any questions in the comments below. Subscribe if you wanna see more and until next time, keep on shooting.